Hey, what's going on everybody? We are here in Goodlettsville. I think that's how you pronounce it. We're in Davidson County, Tennessee at Lutton's or Luton's Methodist Church or United Methodist Church. You don't want to get that wrong because down here there's all kinds of different denominations. So we're here to visit the grave of another screen legend in my eyes, Grandpa Jones. Now, I did not know when I set out on this channel that it would end up being like this, but I've started compiling a list of people that were on Hee Haw and um, Andy Griffith and Green Acres and all those classic TV shows, you know, the, the really good ones. And so we're here to visit Grandpa Jones, which he was, you know, a staple on Hee Haw. So we can add him to that list of people that we saw. And uh, it's a beautiful little cemetery, too. So before we get we go any further, let me get the ad out of the way and say, hey, welcome. If this is your first time, uh, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all the things, right? And if this isn't your first time, hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the video. We also got some merchandise now. Got to plug that. You, uh, the link will be in the description. And I always say this at the end, but somebody told me to start, hey, you should put this at the beginning that I have a little member section where you can donate and, you know, it helps me get to these places. So, all right, with all of that out of the way, let's try to go find the grave of Grandpa Jones, talk a little bit about his life, celebrate his life, and let's pay our respects. You know, all these older churches and cemeteries throughout the South, they normally put the year they were founded, because if they're an old church, you know, they're proud of the history. And pulling in, I didn't see anything, but on the upside down, you can see where it was founded in 1839. I knew it looked like an older cemetery. There's, you know, there's quite a few new graves here, but it looks like the older ones are kind of scattered throughout. It doesn't seem like there's one, you know, congregation of older graves. Here's some older ones over in this corner I was wanting to go look at. 1910 on one of these. I don't really see anything. Let's see what we got over here. There's the 50s, 1950s, the 1920. So yeah, these seems like these seem like they may be. Uh, there's a 1912 right here. You know, just your basic. These seem a little bit older, don't they? 1916, uh, 1920s. So yeah, I'm gonna keep walking around and see what I can run across. But while we do that, let's talk about Grandpa Jones, shall we? Luis Marshall Jones, better known as Grandpa Jones, was born in a small farming community of Niagara in Henderson County, Kentucky. He was the youngest of 10 children in a sharecropper family. His first instrument was the guitar. One, he spent his teenage years in Ohio, where he began singing country music tunes on a radio show on WJW. And in 1931, Jones joined the Pine Ridge String Band, which provided the musical accompaniment for the very popular Lum and Abner show. See, those are, those are infants from the 15 and 20. They lost two children. Gosh, that's tough, man. They both born, they were, five years apart and neither one of them made it. That's tough, man. 
By 1935, his pursuit of a musical career took him to WBZ Radio in Boston, where he met musical musician and songwriter Bradley Kincaid, who gave him the nickname Grandpa Jones when he was only 22 years old because of his offstage grumpiness at early morning radio shows. I can, I can understand that, right? Jones liked the name and decided to create a stage persona around it. Based around it later in life, he lived in Mountain View, Arkansas. And in the 40s, he, mes he, my goodness, he met rising country star Cousin Emmy, from who he learned to pay, play the banjo. Gosh, I am struggling to talk today. Performing as Grandpa Jones, he played the guitar, banjo, he yodeled, and sang mostly old-time ballads. By 1937, Jones, has made his, Jones made his way to West Virginia, where Cousin Emmy taught Jones the art of the claw hammer style of banjo playing, which gave a rough flavor to the, the style of his performance. And in 1943, Jones made his recording debut for King Records. Jones was making records under his own name for King and, and by 44, and had his first hit with It's Raining Here This Morning. His recording career was put on hold when he enlisted in the U.S. Army during World War II. And he was discharged in 46, and he moved to Nashville and started performing on the Grand Ole Opry. He married Miss Ramona Riggins on October 14th of 1946. As an accomplished performer herself, she would take part in his performances. Jones' vaudeville humor was a bridge to television. His more famous songs include T for Texas, Are You From Dixie, Night Train to Memphis, Mountain Dew, and eight more miles to Louisville. In the fall of 1968, Jones became a cast member of the long-running television show, Hee Haw, often responding to the show skits with his trademark phrase, outrageous. He also played banjo by himself or with banjo player David Strangbing Aikman. In January of 1998, Grandpa Jones suffered two strokes after his second show performance at the Grand Ole Opry. He passed away on February 19th, 1998, at the age of 84. Here we go. Grandpa Jones. When you leave this earth for a better home someday, the only thing you'll take is what you gave away. Falling Leaves, written by Grandpa Jones. Dang it, the ants. And there's his wife, Miss Ramona. The new mown hay seeds all its fragrance from the fields I used to roam. When I dream about the moonlight on the Wabash, then I long for my Indiana home. That was written by Harley and McDonald. So yeah. Somebody's placed a banjo. And I tell you what, let's look over here real quick. While we're up here. Wow. Some of these are from the 80s. So a lot of these are newer, but they've just grown over. Like the ones in the back say they're from the 50s. 
Here's a unique piece. It just has her name on it, or his name. It looks like it stops right by that tree. Yeah, that's different, isn't it? So yeah, that's the grave of Grandpa Jones, man. Like, I think I have this this reason to come try to view all these people because I grew up watching them with my grandmother and my family, and they almost seem like a second family. You watch, especially me, because I would watch the reruns. Like, they would just be on TV, and you would just watch episode after episode. And even as a kid, it was funny. Like, a lot of the adult humor I didn't get, but it was still pretty good. I mean, it was really decent. So, yeah, it's 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 like I'm, you know, paying respects to the people that I grew up loving to watch, which is from a whole different era, you know? So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget, you know, like I said, I got some merch, and I got the whole members thing. I always try to plug that just in case. I know the times we live in are crazy, and if you can't, that's cool. Just by watching and sharing and doing all the, the normal things, that helps out a ton. I get it. Gas is $4 a gallon, and everything's upside down right now. Maybe one day we'll get back to normal, but it doesn't seem like any time soon, does it? But in the meantime, hey, me and you can go along, and we can watch these, or you can watch as we go visit, you know, the graves of all these people that kind of helped pave the way for shows today. Like those people helped build the bridges that my generation walked across, right? Like it's kind of neat to come pay respects to those folks. I thought there would, you know, since this place was here from 1839, I really thought there would be more, I don't know, I thought there would be a lot more older type graves, which I thought that's what was gonna be in the woods, but it wasn't that was not the case i really thought that we would have like half a cemetery that we could explore of like cool old things you know like you never like not only just the graves but just like there's always normally something intriguing with old cemeteries so yeah thank thanks so much i mean I always tell you guys, you really don't know what it means, and I really do mean that. I mean every word of that. That You guys watching and subscribing and sharing, it's awesome. Like, I'm glad that you and I, or me and you, we get to do this together and adventure out and go to places that, I mean, I, I never would have thought I'd get to come visit Grandpa Jones, but thanks to you guys, I get to do that stuff. And I'm glad I get to bring you guys along with me and our community that we have like when I do the live streams everybody you know is great chatting with each other and asking how you're doing within the community yeah it's 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 awesome like I never would have thought that I could do something like this and it's it's because of you guys like the support and the love and everything that you give out so thanks again and you know what you really never know what you're going to find on the back roads. I'll see you guys next time.